Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, so people can say whatever they like about Frank Warren. But when it comes to this particular fight, this weekend, down to Bois versus Bogdan Dinu, you have to look at Frank Warren and go, well played. You have played your cards very, very well. You, my man, are a genius when it comes to this particular situation. Now, you, you might look at it and go, but why? It's just Bogdan Dinu. Now, Bogdan Dinu, okay, he's a guy who, in his last four fights, has lost two of them. He lost to big baby Jaramilla, Miller, who incidentally is, has been over there in Romania helping Bogdan Dinu prepare for Daniel Dubois. Okay, so he's lost to big baby Jaramilla, Miller and he lost to Kubrat Pulev and then beat two journeymen. But Bogdan Dinu is ranked at the top of the pile with the WBA rankings. At the top, he's ranked above Andy Ruiz Jr., Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder, Michael Hunter and so forth. Quite wise rank right way up there. Boxing politics, right? Money talks and all that kind of good stuff. So this fight this weekend will be for the WBA Interim World Heavyweight Championship. So there's a number of ways of looking at it. Firstly, if Anthony Joshua goes through with what Eddie Hearn's been talking about and potentially just vacates all the belts because he's sick of being told who he has to fight and who he can't fight and whatever else, if he vacates the belts, well, the interim champion could well be elevated to full WBA World Heavyweight Champion. So Tangle Dubois defeating Bolton Dinu could actually elevate into full champion. That could happen. Or it could be a case of he beats Bogdan Dinu and then he gets to fight Anthony Joshua next. Why do I say that? Well, again, look at the landscape. So Anthony Joshua, his last fight was his IBF mandatory against Kubrat Pulev. His next fight will be against Alexander Usyk. Again, providing, of course, he doesn't vacate, then it'll be Alexander Usyk, which is for the WBO. Then we back round again to the WBA. The last time the WBA had a mandatory fulfilled was in September, September the 22nd to be precise, 2018 against Alexander Povetkin. That was the last time the WBA had their mandatory. So roll around, you're talking three years. The WBA will be calling on their mandatory for, to fight Anthony Joshua next. They're not gonna allow Joshua to go fight Usyk and should he beat Usyk go, you know what, go have a voluntary. No, they're gonna call their mandatory. Who's their mandatory gonna be? Daniel Dubois is who his mandatory is going to be by becoming interim champion. You can look at that and go, but you've got Trevor Bryan. He's a WBA regular champion. Maybe the WBA will order that fight. Nope. They've never done it yet, so why would they do it now? They're not going to do that. And the whole idea of the WBA creating a super champion as opposed to the regular champion. So Anthony Joshua super champion, Trevor Bryan is a regular champion. But the, the reason why they did all that, which which of course was around the Vladimir Klitschko, David Hay kind of uh, situation, but was to relieve the pressure of mandatories. But Joshua still has mandatories. Trevor Bryan don't have them. So quite why they've done that, I don't know. They never once uh, forced Floyd Mayweather to fight a mandatory or anything, but they are with Anthony Joshua. But either way, the IBF was last time against Paul Lev for Joshua. Next time, the next fight will be for the WBO against Usyk. Then we're coming back round again to the WBA. You could look at that and say, well, who else is there? Maybe the gold champion in Robert Hellenius? No, the gold status is irrelevant. Let's be honest. That's why Joe Joyce had it and then just vacated it. Because it doesn't mean anything. It's equivalent to like an international champion. So, as the landscape currently is, Dan Dubois loses to Joe Joyce, his next fight against Bogdan Dinu, he defeats Bogdan Dinu, which of course you would heavily favour him too, becomes interim champion, then he could be mandated to fight Anthony Joshua next. Or if Joshua vacates the belts, Dan Dubois could be elevated to full champion. If you're Joe Joyce, you could be looking at that and going, Frank Warren, what exactly are you doing? Okay, because I beat Dan Dubois, Okay, I've been waiting around. My career's been put on hold while I've been trying to get the Usyk fight because everybody thought that uh, Joshua Fury was going to happen. The WBO ordered Usyk versus Joe Joyce. But now that's not happening. But where does Joe Joyce go? He's not even ranked in the WBA in the top 15. The, the WBC? Well, that's a whole another kettle of fish. Okay, Joe Joyce is way down the pecking order for the WBC. He can continue with the WBO, but again, he's going to be waiting at least, what, another two, three years 
before he gets a shot. So Joe Joyce has got to be looking at Frank Warren and going, hold up, how did I beat Dan Dubois? Dan Dubois suffered a orbital bone break and is going to be out before me and then potentially get elevated to a full WBA World Heavyweight Champion if Joshua vacates or becomes his mandatory. Where am I? I'm in no man's land right now. I like Dan Dubois personally. I think Dan Dubois is still got a great future. What happened, what happened. And I agree with Dan Dubois. I think that uh, he was right to take the knee. I hold no kind of uh, ill feelings toward Dan Dubois. I don't think he's a quitter or anything like that. Not even close to it. But you have to say well played to Frank Warren on this one. You really do. Because how does your guy lose, then go fight a bulked and dinner of all people who shouldn't even be ranked up there, but he is, and then potentially be Anthony Joshua's next opponent? That's amazing. So in the space of one fight, loses to Joe Joyce, beats Bogdan Dinu, and then potentially gets either elevated to full champion or gets mandated to fight Anthony Joshua. Well played Frank Warren. I think Eddie Hearn missed the boat on this one. He should have arranged for one of his guys to fight Bogdan Dinu, don't you think? Anyway, well played Frank Warren. Well played. Best of luck to Dan Dubois. I think that he will absolutely destroy Bogdan Dinu this weekend. I'm sure his eye will hold up. I hope that it does. But I don't even think that Bogdan Dinu will even land on his eye too much, to be honest with you. I think Daniel Boyle is going there and just steamrolling. But anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.